What's up guys? Today we're gonna show you guys how to update your um, navigation system, or infotainment system, whatever you wanna call it. So we're gonna update it to the latest firmware. Uh, first we need to check if we, you know, we're up to date. So I'll put the link on the description um, of the website where I got the, like, the, I guess, firmware information. We're gonna turn on the accessory mode on our car. Make sure the screen turns on. You don't need to turn the car completely on, but it's just, we're just checking. So I don't know where your, your car starts up, but you wanna go home, you click setup, and you go to the right, system info. Sorry, I was trying to focus. So here's your software version and your firmware version. Um, we're gonna up, up, upgrade the software version. We're gonna check if it needs updating. So just a quick um, note. The way we're going to update it, we're going to get the file from a computer. So if you don't have a computer, um, you could probably use your, I mean, actually, no, you need a computer, like either a desktop or a laptop. We're going to download the file on a little um, USB drive and then transfer it to our car. All right. So once you have, once you're at your desktop or a laptop, I'm using the laptop. Um, just make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi if you are using the laptop. Um, obviously, you need an internet connection, but you're going to go to the link. It's going to be update.hyundai.com forward slash. It's going to be like a, a big, you know, link. I'll just put the link in the description below. Um, but yeah, you're going to go all the way to the bottom of the page. And it's going to tell you, it's going to give you a list of vehicles. And, you know, with a model number or software version. And the, it's going to give you like a download um, link right here. So, obviously, you go to the car that you want. We, we have the Veloster N 2019 to 2021 version. So we go, let's see, let me turn on my car. We'll compare the um, the software versions. Or firmware, yeah, software versions. Give me a second. All right, so remember, we got to set up. System info. And then software version JSN USA SOP V108. And this one's going to be for the Veloster N, which is the bottom one. JSN USA SOP V115201030. So it does need an update. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a flash drive, a USB flash drive. We're going to download the link down here. We're going to download it into this flash drive. We're gonna connect this to the car and then hit update. Because if we hit update right now without nothing, it's gonna tell you, please check the device containing the updates, update files and try again. So it needs the device, which is gonna be a USB drive containing the update files and that we're gonna to transfer to the car to complete the update. All right, sorry about the glare by the way, but um, so once we have our flash drive, I'm using the SanDisk, SanDisk a 16 gigabyte flash drive so we're just going to connect it to our usb port on the either your desktop or your laptop mine is connected because it's flashing so yeah we're going to go down here we're on the bottom veloster n we're going to go all the way to the right and we click download but i just want to give a i guess a heads up your usb drive does have to be at least two gigabytes um yeah, at least two gigabytes and um be the be in the format of the fat 32 which is right here all right so once we got the file downloaded open up if you're on mac open up your finder or well, it's going to automatically open if you have it set to the setting or if you're on windows i believe is your files see this file the d audio so you do, what you're going to do is copy then you're going to go to your usb drive mine is this one the one that says chris and then you put paste item and it's going to copy the the file over to the USB. Over to the USB, which is right here. And then once that's done downloading here, we're going to disconnect it, connect it to the car, and then hit update. So, yeah, we'll see. See you guys when it's done. It says it's going to take about seven minutes. So, we'll get back when it's done. All right. Once it's done downloading, we have the file on the um, USB drive. You're going to want to eject your drive it's pretty eject you're able to disconnect your usb 
then you're done with the computer. You go ahead, turn on your car to accessory. I guess you can turn it completely on. All right, we go to setup. System info. Then we, we connect the USB in the USB. And then we hit update. All right, it's gonna give you a notice. We're gonna hit okay. And it's gonna check the information on the USB drive. All right, now it says copying file update is in progress. Turning off the power or ejecting the the update memory during the update process may result in data loss. Please wait until updating is complete. So you just don't touch nothing. Just let it update on its own. Um, leave the car on, like I said, just so it won't turn off on its own. And just leave your USB. Open. Oh, by the way, you plug it in in the USB one, not the charging. All right, once it's done, it says restart the system to proceed with the update to, to not turn off the system by force. All right, so what we're gonna do, let it restart on its own. All right, and this gives you the update is in progress. Turning off the power or ejecting the update memory during the update process may result in data loss. Please wait until updating is complete. So yeah, we just keep waiting. Just let it do its thing. Um, so there you are. It says updating the system. One out of four. All right, now it's updating the GPS. All right, once the GPS is updated, updated is updating the modem now. All right, now item four out of four is updating the U. All right, once it's done, it says the system will restart. It's gonna restart on its own. You don't have to do nothing. All right, update is complete. The system will restart. All right, now it tells you drive safely obey traffic rules you hit confirm go to setup system info gives you the updated one which is version 115 and let's double check make sure it did update all right you can see in the bottom it says veloster n JSN USA V1152010030. That matches with this one up here. V1152010030. Perfect. So that means we're updated and we're good to go. All right, this update is not to update the whole like navigation system. So it's not going to change like the layout, like the 2021 versions, unfortunately. Um, it'd be nice if it did, but it doesn't. Um, it does do, it does like, um, it does do like, you know, some minor, um, bugs and whatnot, you know, so that's the main reason for this update. The total process it took me, it was around 35 minutes. So I guess if you don't have time or you want to do it yourself, you are able to do it yourself. You just need a USB drive and then a laptop or a desktop and then that's it. And 30 minutes of your time and it's updated. Um, all right, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, like always, leave them in the comments right below, and I'll try to answer them the best that I can. Thanks.